Okay. Hello. This is uh, State of Mind. How you doing? Uh, well, I'm fine. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. How do you feel in Romania? I know you've been here for many times before. Uh, I've been to Timisoara twice and Cluj tonight and I think Stu's been somewhere in Bucharest. Uh, yeah. you know, I'm not sure where. Uh, a few years ago, I'm, I'm not quite sure, at Arena d and I, I think that's right, yeah. <laughs> and how do you feel in Romania? Yeah, I've had a great time actually. Both, both parties are really good. Uh, clubs are really cool. This, this club in particular is really nice, man. Like, I think it did uh, hold in the mix mag top 100, so that, that says it's something. It's actually uh, number 25 in the yeah, DJ mag. It's yeah, it's it's yeah. a really nice club. I like it. Yeah, actually for me it's the first time too when I'm here, so and I quite like it. So. Cool, cool. Uh, tell us about your next project. You know that uh, stupid question that you have to say in you know, each interview. Like next stuff we're working on. Well, we're kind of. Uh, we're always making new tracks and I think we're gonna make another album a lot quicker this time. Like the last album was over two years and the oldest track was actually two years old and we were saving them for the album. But this time I think we're just gonna write the album in a really short period of time and just get it done. And we're sort of doing that right now. Oh nice! Can you give us a release date or something? I think we're gonna aim for September, September 2012. So yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah, unless I get slack, and then it won't be 2012. Well, Stu gets slack. If we get slack, it won't be then. It'll be next. It'll be the 2013. <laughs> uh, tell us more about your background. You know, like when you started the drum and bass music. If you played or something other musical genres or something. You know, uh, well, we were both kind of in uh, semi-average. Didn't really happen. Rock bands that like we tried and. I uh, couldn't get it really happening with other friends we went to school with and stuff and then we yeah sort of turned to doing solo stuff each. Uh, this is before I ever knew Stu and we were both making trip hop and kind of uh, downbeat sort of stuff and then we ended up going to a few drum bass gigs and met up through groups of other friends and yeah we've been making tracks for well since like 2001 now so nice so it has been years yeah, back yeah, 10 yeah. years. That sounds old. That sounds terribly old. Yeah, it is. Sure that. <laughs> it is but they're not old, what the fuck? <coughs> well, oldish. <laughs> uh, tell us more about your feedback of remaining public and how did you felt here? Uh, I already asked you how you felt in clubs, but I mean, how do you see your music on public? How do you feel the public that uh, interacts with you? Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's always, because we're from the other side of the world, it's always uh, you get over here and you're not sure how much people know about your tracks or what. And um, yeah, when I drop something of ours, people go crazy and they, and they know the tracks and if it's got vocals they sing along, which is, which is always cool. And yeah, the, the crowds are generally pretty, pretty noisy and receptive over here, which is great. Nice to hear that. Now, thank you for the interview and uh, if you want to say a few words for the Romanian public that watches this video, go on. Yeah, thanks thanks all to the Romanian people who came to all our shows. It's been, uh, we've had lots of fun. I know I have and I'm sure Stu did as well. So yeah, hopefully we'll see you all in the very, very near future. Thank you.